Now that your engine kit has arrived, you've taken the parts out of the box so you can get a mental grasp on all the tidbits you're going to have to put together to get your bicycle a motorized bicycle. We're going to start with step one, tightening and lubricating the engine before we install it on the bicycle. Now a two cycle engine, much like this one, or exactly like this one for your bike. When they're assembled at the factory, they do use a light film of lubricant to lube the parts as they assemble them. But we want to do a little extra to make sure that your efforts are 100%, keep your problems down to a minimal, and it's also a good idea. So what we're going to do first is take our Allen head wrench and we're going to check all of the nuts and bolts. Right now we're checking the hex head bolts because as you can see, from the factory, sometimes the mechanicalized computers that assemble your engines don't get all the nuts and bolts snug from the factory. So we are going to take a minute. You don't have to over tighten them. You just want to make sure they're tight. Now we're not going to check those because we are going to remove that door here in the immediate future. But we are going to check all of our case bolts. And as you can see, right out of the box from the factory, sometimes they are all completely tight, but most of the times, the old machine didn't quite get it at 100%. So you'll want to check all of these yourself. And as you can see right out of the box, a few of them needed a little extra snugging. This ensures when you do start your bike, it doesn't have any air leaks in the engine. Two cycle engines do not run properly if they have any air leaks in the kit, in the crank case. And it doesn't matter what engine you purchase. It's this way on all bike engines, or at least I have found in the past years. This is just a cover, but we do want it snug to keep the moisture and debris out. All right, we've done all the Allen head ones. Now we'll set hex head, Allen head, whatever they're called these days. It was Allen head when I was growing up. That one's pretty snug. Let me take a snug. Now the best way to do these is use a torque wrench, but for right now, to make sure being it's not fastened to the bike and you can't get an accurate torque without clamping it in a vise, and not everybody has a vise, so we're trying to keep this for the do-it-yourself or homemade guys. Okay, those were tight. Those were tight for our intake. We'll give our clutch arm Oh, as you can see, not completely tight. All right, that is step one. As you can see, needed a little tightening on a few of the case bolts. Now, you don't want to start your two-cycle engine dry. Now, a two-cycle engine only gets its lubrication from the oil and the gas mix, from the oil in the gas. So until it's actually running, it's not, it can't get lubricated itself. So you don't want your cylinder and your piston going up and down in a dry cylinder. So it is a good idea 
I have two cycle oil here because we put a lot of them together. And I have this nifty bottle. But whatever you can use, we screw a little lubrication in the cylinder. And then just rotate the engine around a little bit. So the oil runs around the top of the piston in the cylinder. You can see the piston through that hole right there. So we know we have the top of it lubricated. So when it goes up and down, it will smear the oil through the cylinder. We'll put a drop in there, as you can see. And I also stick the long neck of this dude down there and give it one, two seconds of lube there because the back of the piston is visible if you remove the intake, but there's no need to remove the intake. Okay, now that we've rotated our motor, we know a little lubrication's in there, so our piston won't start going up and down when we initially try to start the engine on the bike with no lubrication. Now we can't get to the lower bearings, but thank God the factory does lubricate those, so we've never ever had a problem with the lower bearings on the start upon startup. And ever since we've uh, lubed up our cylinders, haven't had any problems with the cylinders doing dry and scratching because everything is based on compression. So you don't want your cylinder going up and down in a dry steel to steel atmosphere. So that is why we use the two cycle lube. Now, if you don't have two cycle lube, that is 100% okay. You can use 10W30, any lightweight oil. I have also tried, which worked great in the past, in a pinch. And I like to guinea pig everything myself before I roll it out to the public in a friendly suggestion. Crisco or Wesson cooking oil. The oil burns, doesn't hurt a thing. It's better than absolutely no lubricant to start your engine. So if you're in a pinch and you don't have your two cycle oil, you don't have a quart of 10W30 really thin oil, just to lube like you saw me do with the bottle, you can take an eyedropper or however you can get it in there and use actually cooking oil. Okay, now we're going to remove this cover. Which we'll have to in the future to install our chain, but I'm going to take these three bolts out. All right, now that I have these three bolts loose, this is our clutch release lever. Oh, don't have that one all the way out yet. There we go. Okay, now we have access to our drive gear. Now what I will do with the drive gear is put my socket on there. Rotate the engine to spread the lubricant up and down the cylinder. As you'll be able to see, I hope. See, our piston is wet with oil. So is our cylinder. And now we know that it's not dry, just steel on steel. So for now, we will put our cover back on with our bolts just finger tight because you're going to have to remove that in the future to get your drive chain on there after you install the engine on the bike. So no need tightening that. We'll check these last magneto cover bolts. As you can see, they could use a little snugging. That one needs a lot of snugging. All right. All right, everything's snug and tight, and we know this now because we went over it. No need to fool with your exhaust port bolts yet. 
because the muffler is a few more steps down the road. All right, now you can set your engine aside for now. And your engine is prepped. Shouldn't have any air leaks. You know your cylinder's lubed. That'll keep the problems down of cylinders scratching and galling on the initial startup. And hopefully that should help anybody not have any problems because we want you to uh, fire this up from the start and enjoy your bike and not have any issues from skipping a step here and there.